What's up with the YouTube? Your stretch legs, get into it like you should do it. Yeah, that's right. I'm back with another wave video. I'm doing a washing style and I'm not playing any games. First things first, make sure you hit the subscribe button and tap the little bell so you get notified every single time I drop a new video. So let's go ahead and dive right into it. All right, all the products that I'm using, I'm gonna go ahead and post a link in the description. So make sure you guys click the link for all the different products that I've been using and see if it helps you out with your hair, different types of products. There's brushes, do-rags, oils, pomades, anything you can name it that I've been using in the past six months. You guys can go ahead and click the link in the description to go ahead and check out all the products that I've been using. And all you have to do is click the link to give me some credit, that's it. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Y'all see what's going on. Quit trying to act like I ain't dipping in here. There's a few things that I need to work on. There's a couple forks, crown's a little sloppy. There's some stuff I need to work on, but you know what? I'm gonna dive into a washing style and I'm gonna let you guys see exactly how I get down. Okay, so check it. Here's what's going on. I'm gonna give you guys a light little comb back. You know what I'm saying? Give you guys a little idea of what kind of length we're dealing with. Okay, I cut the six month wolf haircut. If you haven't checked out the six month wolf haircut, make sure you go ahead and check out my other previous video, okay? Six months. So make sure you guys check that video out. These are the results of my six month wolf and I'm gonna let you guys get a nice little comb back to see the length that I got and see what I'm dealing with before I hop into the shower first things first I'm gonna go ahead and get my hair nice and wet so I'm gonna hop in the shower unfortunately YouTube I wish you guys can hop in the shower with me but you know I'm not gonna get like that so I'm just gonna get my hair nice and wet and then you know just so you guys have the idea that my hair is not gonna be looking anything like this when I'm done this is a washing style that I did a couple days ago but you know, I'm in Phoenix, Arizona, and we sweat a lot out here. You gotta do washing styles quite frequently out here. I'm just being real. Otherwise, you're gonna sweat your do-rag out, you're gonna have coconut oil running down your face, and nobody likes that. I'm gonna hop in the shower, and I'll be right back. Yeah, man, right, ooh. All right, YouTube, I'm back. I'm fresh out the shower. As you can see, my hair looks a mess. So we're gonna go ahead and dive right into it. Kick it short, sweet, and to the point. First, get your towel. I get these nice cushiony towels, you know what I'm saying? They're really good. Okay, so once you got the towel wrapped around you, boom, you're ready to start your washing style. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some shampoo and let's get started. All right, so the shampoo I'm using is Organic X. You know what I'm saying? You can get it at Walmart or Walgreens, stuff like that. I'll leave a link in the description as well. Really good shampoo that I like to use. I also like to use the Biotin one. It's a purple bottle. I'll leave that in the description as well. So I'm gonna add some shampoo. You see that? It's way too dry. There's not enough water in my hair. It needs to set up nice and soapy. After I've been out of the shower probably about 10 minutes, I didn't come right to the video. So that's the reason why it's doing that. So I'm gonna add a little bit more water and then we're gonna see how sudy it gets. Boom, there we go. This is more how it's supposed to look. You always wanna keep your hair nice and moist. That is the best time to trick it when it's wet and moist, at least for me. You see all those suds? You see how sudy it got? You see how much soapier it got when I added that little bit of water? So now that we got it all soapy, let's go ahead and get to brushing. So boom, I got my medium hard Torino Pro shower brush. All right, so I'm using the medium hard Torino Pro. One of the first brushes that I ever started to use when I first got into using handled curved brushes. This is a medium hard. It's really good for anything, if you have coarse hair, anything from like a 2.5 and up, you know, it's, it's gonna be good for that. So that's what I usually use. You know, if you have, a, if you have straight hair, you're obviously gonna wanna use a softer brush. You're obviously gonna wanna use it to manage your type of hair. So I'm using a medium hard Torino Pro. I'll leave that link in the description. 
First things first though, before I actually get started with that, I'm gonna go ahead and brush with the shower brush. What this little brush is gonna do, it's gonna detangle, it's gonna loosen up all the hairs and get it kind of straight and going into nice motion. And then I'm gonna go over on top of it with the Torino Pro. The main thing with this is not to get too comfortable with it. Because this is not going to be the final brush that I'm going over on top. This just added another level to my washing style because adding this just made it so much easier for my hair to lay down when I go on top of it with the Torino Pro. So make sure you get a shower brush. Alright, boom. So I brushed my hair with the shower brush. As you can see, I got some type of motion going on in some type of direction. So now I'm going to go on top of it with the Torino Pro. The key to this is you want to make sure your hair is as straight and laid down as possible. Because if it's not, you would tell in the unrag. You can tell because there's frizz, there's over curl. There's a whole bunch of different problems if you don't have a nice strong hard brush when you're doing your washing style. So make sure that you have a nice hard brush and you make sure that you have every single hair laid down. So for my pattern, everything in the back of my right ear goes towards the back. and everything in the front of my right ear goes forward. Just like that. Again, it's not a rush. Just go nice and slow. Until you get the best defined waves and longevity. Shine and lay down. Running out of shampoo, I'm gonna have to double up, get a little bit more shampoo. This time, I'm gonna put the shampoo inside the brush. Ah, the reason I do that is to keep the shampoo going in a nice fluent motion because a lot of times when I soak, sud my hair up, all the foam will fall down the side of my neck before I even get a good brush in. So I'm putting the shampoo inside the Torino Pro just because I found that it's a good method that works for me. Oh, and don't forget to add water when you're doing it too. Just got a nice little handful of water, put it right in my hair. And again, shampoo inside the brush.
knocking, knocking your brush down on, on your head will knock some of the soap out and it'll let you distribute it more thoroughly through weaker spots of your hair. So every once in a while, every once in a while tap your brush and get some of that soap distributing through your hair. If your washing style doesn't cause a mess, you're probably not doing it right. All right, so once you think you've achieved your washing style, the next part that we're gonna move to is ragging up and smoothing. Get my do-rag, put it on, get my double compression. I like to get my double compression on. This helps me when I'm smoothing. All right, so you're probably asking yourself, stretch what is smoothing what does that mean smoothing is getting your hand until you feel every single wave laid down with the shampoo and the do-rag on at the same time that's what smoothing is you want to make sure you can really feel You want to make sure you can feel it really laid down. You don't want to feel no bumps. You don't want no bumps or anything. You want it to be perfectly still, laid down. The only bumps you want to feel is the, is the ripples from the waves. Those are the only, you don't want to feel any type of knots or anything everything needs to be completely laid down you see how the soap you see how the shampoo's all on my hands through the do-rag 
that's how your that's how your smoothing session should be after you're done putting on your do rag. Should look like this. Should have soap on your hands, and you should be ready to rag up after you wash your hands. And now we're ready to tie our do rag. Now that everything's all perfectly right, ready to go, now the last and final step is gonna be washing the shampoo out of your hair. Cold water is probably the best method. And the reason why is because you don't wanna burn all the oils out. All right, there it is. My hair is all wet. I'm ready to dry it off. You gotta make sure your hair is a thousand percent dry, otherwise it's not gonna work. So make sure that you dry your hair. Woo-wee! Ooh, I can see the waves through that do-rag, baby. Oh, baby, I can see them waves through that do-rag. Do you see what I did? You seen all the steps? Okay, so make sure your hair is a thousand percent dry. My hair is still a little damp from the towel, but you know what? That's not gonna finish the job because you don't wanna have any over-curling problems. And the only way to cure that, I got the Conair hair blow dryer. Get any blow dryer you want, any blow dryer. I'm using a Conair one, it's like 10, 15 bucks at Walmart or anything like that. I'll leave the link in the description. And you wanna go ahead and get the blowing. That's not gonna kick it up. That's not good enough. We're gonna have to kick it up a notch.
As weird as it sounds, with your blow dryer, you're gonna wanna blow with your pattern. It's really weird how that works, but that's how I do it. And I found that I get some of the best results doing it. So use your blow dryer with your pattern. This area is becoming more dry faster. You can start to see, you'll be able to see what part of your hair is drying up faster because the do-rag is gonna to start to change colors and it'll become more light again. And whatever do-rag you got, you'll notice, you'll notice when it's actually dry because it won't be have a wet stain on your do-rag, it'll actually be completely dry and that's how you'll know you're ready to take it off. When you don't feel any, when you don't feel any more coolness on your on your head, like you're, like you walked out with a fresh wet head in a in a in a in a winter, you know, and it's really cold. If you don't feel that on your head anymore, you're probably done with your blow drying your hair. But I still feel it, so I'm gonna keep going. One thing that I noticed about drying your hair with the blow dryer is this part at the very bottom, all the hair when you're blowing it to, with the grain like that, it falls down to this little band right here. So this is probably the last area that you're gonna have to get dry with your blow dryer. So make sure you guys are aware of that. The top of your head is probably gonna be more dry than the actual sides. So you wanna make sure you're still going all the way because even on this knot, and in that stuff in the band on the side it's holding up a lot of water because the hair dripped down to the band
Boom, there it is. Fully dry, ready to go, ready to freaking go to bed or whatever you guys wanna do. You're ready to go, you're ready to take off. You're fully ragged up. You did a washing style, you put the conditioner in there, you did a shower brush, you did all the steps. And now it's time for the final product. You let me know, you let me know in the comments. How did the washing style turn out? Are we in there? All right, there it is. You guys had it. Stretchy May, I'm out. I want you guys to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Hit the bell on the side so you get notified anytime I drop a new video. We're gonna keep consistent with the wave videos. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, StretchLex, S-T-R-E-T-C-H-L-E-X-X. -X. Really out here making moves with the wave community. Much love, shout out to everybody. Yeah, man, right. Ooh, Stretchy May. <laughs>